Good day, this is Engineer John Richard V. McKinnon, and today I will be discussing to you about one of the most commonly used design of experiment, which is the one factor at a time, or most commonly known as the OFAT method. Let us first start our discussion by defining some important terms that are useful in order for us to fully understand OFAT. First is experiment. Experiment is a test or series of runs in which purposeful changes are made to the input variable of a process or a system so that we may observe and identify the reason for changes that may be observed in the output response. Let us consider a simple experiment in which we want to know or find out the effects of several factors in the quality of sleep. We consider sleeping environment, room lighting, work shift, and medication as a variable that greatly influences the sleeping habit of a person. The sleeping environment, the work shift, the room lighting, and the medication are what we call the input variables in the experiment, while the sleep quality is what we know as the output response of the experiment. So generally, the input variable is what we know the independent variable, while the output response is what we also know as a dependent variable of the experiment. Next term is factors. Factors are variables that affect the process or the system. So in our simple experiment, the factors that we consider are the sleeping environment, the lighting of the room, the work shift, and the medication. The next term are the levels. Levels are discrete possible values for each factor. And response is what we know as the desired output in an experiment. So in experiment, the desired output is the sleep quality of a person. Let us now discuss the strategy of experimentation. So the strategy of experimentation is generally the approach to planning and conducting the experiment. So basically, there are three types or three strategies of experimentation, namely the trial and error, the factorial, and the one factor at a time. For trial and error, the test being conducted is continuous almost indefinitely, switching the levels of one or two factors for the next test based on the outcome of the current test. For factorial strategy, experimental strategy in which factors are varied together instead one of the time. And the most awaited part is the one factor at the time. One factor at a time which is commonly used as a design experiment in the field of chemistry, civil engineering, manufacturing engineering, mechanical engineering, and other science research. One factor at a time is a method consists of selecting a starting point or a base set of levels for each factor and then successively varying each factor over its range with the other factors held constant at the baseline level. As a researcher, we must first identify the response of the experiment. Let's say in our example, the response is the sleep quality. Secondly, is we identify the input variables of the factors, in which in our experiment, the input factors are sleeping environment, room lighting, work ship, and medication. Third, is we set the level on each factor. Level is like setting the range of the possible values you will use in each variable. And lastly, we vary and observe the effect of each factor in each input factor to the output response individually. Like we have on our experiment, we will vary sleeping environment to sleep quality, room lighting to sleep quality, work ship to sleep quality, and medication to sleep quality. So generally, the steps in conducting OFAT are first, selecting a starting point or baseline set of levels for each factor. Second, successively vary each factor over its range while other factors held constant at the baseline level. Third, perform the experiment. And fourth, construct a series of graphs showing the response variable is affected by each factor with all other factors held constant. Let us examine a more complex study which uses OFAT as the main experimental design of the study. The study that we are about to examine is entitled Utilization of Waste Low Density Polyethylene as a Stabilizing Material for A-1-A Road Subgrade Soil. 
So basically, the research objective is to improve soil's capacity to carry load by the addition of waste load density polyethylene. We could say that the soil is stabilized when its CBR is improved. First, we identify the response of the experiment, and in this case, we consider the CBR or the California bearing ratio value as a marker of the stabilized soil and therefore it is the response of the study. Second is we identify the factors which may affect the CBR and in this case, we consider two factors namely the amount of plastic waste or the amount of waste low density polyethylene and the water content of the soil. Third, we set level on each factors. For the first factor, we consider two levels which is 0.1 to 1% amount of plastic by weight of soil. On the other hand, we consider two levels for water content, namely 2 to 12%. We then set the values of each run of the experiment. Fourth is we vary each factors of the output response and letting the other variable constant as the other variable changes. In our experiment, we add different amount of plastic by weight of soil on the soil sample having a constant water content and examines its individual effect on the CBR values. Likewise, we also vary the amount of water on soil sample at constant percent plastic concentration and observe the possible effect on CBR values. And after conducting the experiment, it is very necessary to create plots, graph, and perform statistical analysis such as t-test, z-test, ANOVA, polynomial, and linear regression in order for us to assess the results properly. To summarize our discussion, OFAT is simple. OFAT is a prevalent experimentation commonly used by many engineers and scientists in both industry and academia. Tests are conducted by systematically changing the level of one factor while holding the levels of all other factors fixed. Subsequently, each factor in turn is varied and its optimal level selected while the other factor is held fixed. The only disadvantages when it comes to using OFAT is it does not provide adequate information on the interaction of the variables and lastly is it does not provide efficient estimate on the effects. So this ends my discussion about one factor at a time, the sign of experiment. Thank you so much for listening.